What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 6. Top DFS picks. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for this week's NFL slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay, guys, NFL week six. Let's take a look at the quarterback position. So my top DFS pick at the quarterback position is Kyler Murray from the Arizona Cardinals playing the Seattle Seahawks who have the absolute worst defense overall. They give up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Kyler Murray has averaged 21 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 5.6 rush attempts per game. He's projected at 19.8 fantasy points here in week six, he's 7,300 DraftKings salary, 1,000 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 51.5 points scored in this game, with the Cardinals favored by three. Kyler Murray has scored 17, 24, and 16 fantasy points in the last three games. He got four, 12, and two rush attempts in those games. So I love the matchup. I'm going to take the salary savings coming down off of Josh Allen to Kyler Murray. I think he's got just as much upside here in this matchup. Probably going to have much lower ownership as well. So I like Kyler Murray here versus the Seattle Seahawks. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. My top DFS pick at the running back position is Alvin Kamara from the New Orleans Saints playing the Cincinnati Bengals who have a good defense overall. They've been good versus opposing running backs, but Alvin Kamara has averaged 14.4 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 15.7 rush attempts per game and 5.7 pass targets per game. He's projected at 16 fantasy points here in week six, and he's only 6,700 DraftKings salary, 1,400 more on FanDuel. I thought there was a typo or a mistake when I saw that DK price. Not sure why it's so low, but I'm gonna jump all over this one. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 43.5 points scored in this game with the Saints trailing by one and a half. Alvin Kamara scored 27 fantasy points last game off of 23 rush attempts and six pass targets. So I like Alvin Kamara here versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you wanna enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. My top DFS pick at the wide receiver position is Debo Samuel from the San Francisco 49ers playing the Atlanta Falcons who have the sixth worst defense overall. They give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Debo Samuel has averaged 15.8 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 7.4 pass targets per game and 4.2 uh, rush attempts per game. So I like that he gets rush attempts on top of a ton of pass targets. He's on the field for 79% of the snaps. He's projected at 17.9 fantasy points here in week six. 
He's 7,600 DraftKings salary. Same price on FanDuel. So I love that FanDuel price. Now Debo Samuel has scored 11, 27, and 13 fantasy points in the last three games off of nine, seven, and eight pass targets on top of two, two, and five rush attempts. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 43 points scored in this game with the 49ers favored by five and a half. So I like Debo Samuel here versus the Atlanta Falcons. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL. NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. My top DFS pick at the tight end position is Tyler Higby from the LA Rams playing the Carolina Panthers who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing tight ends. Tyler Higby has averaged 12.4 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 9.6 pass targets per game. He's been on the field for 95% of the snaps, projected at 11.6 fantasy points here in week six. He's 4,600 DraftKings salary, 1,600 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 41 points scored in this game, with the Rams favored by 11. Now, Tyler Higby has scored 12, 17, and 10 fantasy points in the last three games off of 10, 14, and four pass targets. So I like that he's averaging almost 10 targets a game. So I like Tyler Higby here versus the Carolina Panthers. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.